Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Miami TV. We are live right now uh, for everybody watching us in Channel 18 here in Miami. Also live in all of our social media in, in Miami TV in uh, online and on our website. So welcome. We have David Arguez once again with us because I thought it, uh, people are very, very intrigued on how to be healthy. And I think uh, what better th than to have him come back and answer some questions for you guys since last time we didn't get a chance to do so. So he's here representing his company, 365 uh, Wellness Solutions. So uh, welcome, David. Oh, thanks, Jenny. I'm happy to be here. Welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back, man. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we had like uh, a couple of questions left from people last time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and motivate you guys to ask questions today. We'll see uh, if either to do a half hour or if, you know, if it's too much, then we'll, we'll do an hour. But I think it's better to kind of like dosify it in half hour um, shows. Today, the poll, you know, I went ahead and did a Facebook poll and I'm like, okay, what do you guys want to talk about? And weight loss was the number one topic that people wanted to talk about. So uh, first of all, remind everybody about your company, about what you're doing. Yeah, definitely. So what we're doing is really special because um, a lot of nutritionists, there are similar wellness clinics out there, uh, but they're not doing what we're doing. Because okay. not that? only do we personalize uh, each nutrition plan and each wellness plan uh, for each patient and each client that we have, okay. but we also provide them with the solutions. For example, we actually have a team of chefs uh, that cook our That's food. That's cool. Yeah, they're here located in, in Brickell, in downtown Brickell. Okay. And we actually uh, deliver uh, the food to all of our patients so they don't have to go through the hassle of uh, cooking the food themselves and they don't have to um, clean up afterwards. You know, we just try to facilitate every Sounds single expensive. aspect. Oh, it's actually pretty cheap. Really? Oh, yeah, for <laughs> yeah, what it is. Yeah, he's talking about chefs <laughs> and, you know, having your yeah. own personal chef and nutrition. It's like, that sounds, sounds expensive. So oh, it's yeah. affordable. Oh, very affordable. Awesome. Because usually this service, this uh, company has never been done before, so there's not a similar concept out there. Okay. Uh, but uh, usually the people who have access to nutritionists and, you know, uh, alter doctors that specialize in alternative medicine mm -hmm. usually are people that are really well off. But our goal is to make health accessible to the middle class and awesome. even the lower class. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of times uh, health isn't accessible. They have uh, Medicare and Medicaid, which covers, you know, their basic pills. But, right. for example, acupuncture isn't covered. Alternative treatments that people really need mm -hmm. uh, are not covered. So each meal actually comes out and all the ingredients are artificial Art, are free from artificial chemicals, by the way. So they awesome. have no, no pesticides. GMO. Exactly, no GMOs. Awesome. Uh, the corn that we use is organic. So uh, Monsanto has no part and is not welcome at 365. What's Monsanto? <laughs> oh, Monsanto's actually the company uh, responsible. Oh, uh, really? For, yeah, for creating the pesticides. For getting us all sick? <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, I think it's, okay, yeah, okay. Um, awesome, bueno, estamos hablando un poquito de la compañía de David. Ellos están haciendo planes eh, de comida, nutricionales para las personas, eh, no solamente de, de alta clase, sino también dice queremos hacerlo affordable, o sea, de, de monetariamente accesible para todo el mundo, también en la clase mediana y la clase baja. Tienen chefs personales que les hacen un plan de nutrición de acuerdo a su salud y qué es lo que tienen que Ayudar. Hoy hablaremos de la pérdida de peso porque ya sabemos que es algo muy popular y de ahí nos vamos moldeando. Sé que algunos de ustedes querían hablar, hablar de la presión alta, otros querían hablar eh, de muchos otros, muchos otros temas que pueda ayudar la medicina alternativa, pero bueno, hoy... Empezamos por la eh, pérdida de peso. Okay, so Perfect. for those that are going through, um, obviously I know you have a nutrition, you know, if somebody comes to you and says, I, I, I want to lose however many pounds, uh, how do you study them? Like, how do you know exactly what it is that they're, do you do like a quest of what they're eating and what they have to yes. cut down? Or definitely, definitely. So we actually have individualized questionnaires okay. uh, for each and every person that uh, we evaluate. We have questionnaires for athletes, because um, we see a very wide range of patients. So we work uh -huh. with anybody from professional athletes to uh, people with uh, serious illnesses to just anybody who wants to improve their quality of life. Right. So we have questionnaires just for general health, questionnaires for weight loss. Um, so the one uh, with weight loss, uh, we do that questionnaire to identify the problem and what's right. causing uh, the weight gain or what's making it hard for that person to lose weight. Because everybody's different, right? So Yes, exactly. You everybody's can't just different. say, I feel like everybody just looks online on uh, what they have to cut 
and they start yeah. practicing <laughs> it and then they notice oh it worked on my friend but it didn't work on me you know what's exactly. going on So, yeah. bueno, eh, el, el perder peso, a ver, mucha gente busca en el internet y dicen, pero no puede ser, mi amiga paró de comer eh, tal cosa y resulta que le funcionó y yo estoy haciendo lo mismo y no me funciona para mm -hmm. nada. Todos los cuerpos son diferentes, así que no pueden nunca basarse específica, específicamente en lo que hay en el internet. Saludos a los que están Exacto. en el Facebook, bienvenidos. Hi, Greece, welcome guys, bienvenidos amigos. Si tienen alguna pregunta de salud, bienvenido sea. Um, ¿Por dónde empezamos entonces? So where should we start? What is it that you think uh, is the number one thing that you've seen in people that they're consuming that is definitely causing them to gain weight and not lose yeah. it, obviously? Definitely, definitely, definitely the macronutrients. So a lot of people are counting that calories. That sounded Chinese for me. What's a macronutrient? Yes. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> macronutrients are basically uh, calories, Okay. Uh, protein. Doesn't everything have calories though? Oh, yeah, almost everything has calories. Okay. Um, except for a few vegetables, like, for example, uh, a stick of celery actually has uh, five calories, but you burn those five huh. calories uh, by chewing it. So it ends up having zero calories. Okay, that's Isn't my that favorite new yeah. <laughs> vegetable. <laughs> vegetable <laughs> fact. Qué interesante. Dicen, ¿cómo dijiste el nombre? Macro. Macronutrients, macronutrientes. Macronutrientes, es lo que tenemos que cortar. Creo que si se queremos. llama así en español. Vamos a hacer un poquito de Spanglish acá. Sí. <ríe> que es lo que dice que lo primero que tienen que cortar, uno de esos es calorías. Y yo digo, pero todo tiene calorías. Y dice, bueno, sí, pero por ejemplo, hay ciertos vegetales como uno que se acaba de hacer, mi favorito, que es el celery, que sería el apio. Dicen que el apio tiene cinco calorías, o sea, que las perdés cuando las masticás. O sea que en realidad tiene Exacto. cero. Así que si tienen hambre, coman apio. Sí. <laughs> si quieren perder peso, no, así por lo menos no consumen calorías. Exacto. Um, okay, so calories, uh, what else I cut you in the middle? And uh, something really important is uh, skipping breakfast. Because what happens is, if we eat breakfast... I would, I would never think of that, okay. Yeah, because okay. if we eat breakfast, uh, especially a good heavy breakfast, you know, with right. uh, eggs, which, by the way, have all 14 essential amino acids that the body needs uh, to perform all of its biological functions. Okay, so you're um, not telling us to skip breakfast. You're telling us to eat yes, breakfast. Yes, definitely eat breakfast. Oh, okay, okay, I understood. Skip, well, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. So eat breakfast, okay. Definitely. And the reason for this is because a lot of people who skip breakfast, they end up uh, getting very, very hungry during lunchtime. Plus, their performance definitely declines because uh, their mental performance, their physical performance, because their body doesn't have the nutrition that it needs. I don't need breakfast. And it happens to the best of us. <laughs> so okay. the good But thing you're is, right. Oh, yeah. When you get to like 12 you know, noon or 1, I mean, you could... I oh, yeah, you're cow. just starving, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then what's crazy is once you eat uh, your lunch, I'm sure a couple hours later, you're starving again. You need to eat something. Yeah. And then uh, for dinner, you eat something else. And uh, since you don't have breakfast, your body is missing those calories and those macronutrients uh, that it needs. Um, so that's when, you know, so late night snacking happens. And that is yeah. the biggest sin. The munching. munching. <laughs> yes, the munchies, exactly. So for you, what would be like a perfect breakfast? You would have how many eggs and what else would you consume? Definitely fruits. Fruits yeah. are extremely, extremely great in the morning. Sugar for the day, right? Oh, yeah, definitely yeah. sugar. Um, the body actually needs glucose uh, to function. And people say, oh, but fruits have sugar. Fruits have a lot of calories. Fruits have this. But they grow from the earth. So anything that grows from the earth is great. Okay. Anything that is man-made, uh, which is most of the foods stay in the U.S. Stay away from. <laughs> yes, definitely stay away from. <laughs> Makes sense. And o sea, yeah. un, un buen desayuno, él dice de que eh, sí o sí tienen que tener desayuno. No, lo peor que hay, dicen, pues si quieren perder peso es no desayunar. Eh, yo no desayuno, pues no porque quiero perder peso, simplemente porque mm. me acostumbré a no desayunar. Y es verdad lo que dice, sí. de que si uno no desayuna, después a cierta hora, a las 12, cuando es la hora del lunch, por ejemplo, comes un montón y después resulta de que es. estás demasiado lleno el resto <risa> del día y después te da hambre otra vez, entonces como que no tenés límite en lo que estás comiendo. Y en la noche, por supuesto, que te dan los munchies. Entonces, él recomienda eh, sí o sí tener comer huevos. ¿Cuántos huevos más o menos recomendarías? Dos al día está dos, perfecto. Dos huevos al sí. día que tiene todos los ácidos, los aminoácidos, aminoácidos esenciales. Porque eh, hay 28 aminoácidos en total. Okay. Pero 14 son esenciales, que quiere decir que el cuerpo ya los produce de los otros aminoácidos eh, que ya contiene el cuerpo. Hmm. 
y okay. los otros 14 el cuerpo no lo no los produce. Así que I yeah. never thought eggs would have so many interesting things oh, that we sí. would be consuming. I mean, some people don't consume, my, Enrique doesn't consume eggs. He says they're bad. <laughs> sí. But, you know, bueno. he doesn't know. So, so you would yeah. be eating everything, the yolk and everything. Oh, yeah, the yolk and everything. Everything, okay. Because uh, it's actually a very common misconception. Right. Uh, a couple years ago, they were saying that eggs are really bad because they're high in cholesterol. Right, uh, that's why he won't eat them, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But uh, they've actually discovered that uh, there's no correlation whatsoever in uh, the cholesterol that we consume uh, through our diet and the cholesterol in our blood. So, for example, peanut butter. Right, two totally different things. Interesting, okay. Oh, yeah, two totally different things. Huh. Peanut butter, for example, is very, very high in cholesterol. If you look at the nutrition facts okay. on the back of the label. Uh, but it's actually high in the good cholesterol, which is HDL. Okay, HDL. Uh, Yes, LDL is the bad one. That's the one that we need to stay away from. LDL is the bad one. We're going to have to write all this down. Yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. If you guys are watching, I would have a notebook and a, and yeah. a pen ready. <laughs> or, you know, just watch it on demand and then write everything down. Yeah, Saludos exactly. desde Honduras. ¿Cómo estamos? Bienvenidos. Um, bueno, así Bienvenidos. que dicen de que hubo un muy mal... Uh, Enrique, por ejemplo, no come huevos. Y él dice, el mejor desayuno es comer dos huevos por día, o sea, comer dos huevos y comer fruta. ¿Recomendarías Exacto. tomar leche? También hay mucha como mala información sobre el tema de la leche. Estamos hablando de sí. si queremos perder peso, ¿no? O sea, empezamos con un buen desayuno. Uh -huh. Entonces, fruta, huevos, leche, leche. cereales. Sí, definitivamente la leche es muy buena. Por lo me eh, eh, por ejemplo, eh, para una persona joven o para un atleta eh, es, es muy buena porque también es muy alta en proteína, eh, okay. tiene mucha nutrición. Pero eh, lo malo de la leche es eh, como no... Y yo sé que esto va a ser bien controversial, así que mucha gente no le va a gustar que yo diga esto. I like Pero, yes, eh, han visto que hay una relación entre las personas que toman mucha leche mm -hmm. y el osteoporosis. Okay. Eh, porque sí, tendrá mucho calcio y tiene mucha eh, vitamina D3 y eh, cosas así, pero extrae... El, en vez de añadir el calcio, extrae el calcio de los huesos. Así que por eso... Eso sí que nunca lo escuché sí. antes. Yo pensaba pues, que era todo lo contrario. Uno siempre escucha de que la leche sí. te da calcio para los huesos. O sea, de que Exacto. Es... Bueno, y esto es un estudio que hicieron médicos. O sea... Definitivo. Y esto todo es información reciente. Lo de los huevos es bien reciente. Eh, y la nutrición es una todo ciencia. Cambiando. Sí, todo cambia diariamente, siempre están sacando nuevos estudios. Eh, por eso siempre, lo mejor siempre son comer eh, al, alimentos naturales que vienen de la, de la tierra. Uh -huh. Pero la nutrición es una ciencia bien, bien nueva. Eh, es más, las primeras vitaminas se descubrieron menos de hace 100 años. Menos de hace, the first vitamins sí. were, were discovered less than 100 years ago. So you're yeah. saying that nutrition changes every day. And that, It's for a example, brand new science. Right. That, that he was explaining that the eggs, you know, is something new. A lot of people wouldn't, you know, eat many eggs because of the cholesterol on them. Uh, and he said that it's totally different, the cholesterol that you consume and the cholesterol that's actually in your blood. And uh, he was also, also explaining about milk. I'm like, well, what about milk? You know, there's so much of a controversy of this. I've never heard this before. I think, if anything, you know, do your research, but then it's so yes. difficult to do research online. If anything, you know, find somebody, you know, like him and see what works for you because all the bodies are different, definitely. But uh, he was explaining that in recent studies, uh, milk has actually been proven to take the calcium from uh, your bones, which... My mom always yeah. told me the opposite. Drink milk so you can have calcium. Oh, yeah, so did mine. So did mine. <laughs> like, <laughs> and um, so far I'm good, you know. Okay, so uh, let's get back on topic because I feel like, you know, I, I like learning, so we kind of like deviate. So, yes, um, learning is great. <laughs> number one deal for weight loss then, very important to have a good breakfast. No bacon, right? No, what about bread? Oh, yeah, bread. Definitely if you're going to eat bread, uh, opt for the whole wheat bread. Okay. Because uh, whole wheat bread if is If you want to lose weight, right? Yes, okay. if you want to lose weight or if you just want to improve your general health. Okay, both. Yeah, both. I think they both go <laughs> together, right? I mean, if exactly. you're looking to lose weight, hopefully it's because you want to be healthier. Yeah, they go hand in hand. Okay. Um, so what happens with complex carbohydrates compared to simple carbohydrates, the difference between them both is simple carbohydrates is uh, white bread, uh, white sugar, fruits, which is basically uh, one of the only... 
good sources of simple carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. uh, but the difference between the two of, the, of them are complex carbohydrates have a much longer uh, DNA strand. Therefore, the body can absorb them much, much more efficiently, mm -hmm. and they can convert them into energy uh, much more efficiently than they can simple carbohydrates, which in fact, instead of converted into energy right away, are actually stored, yeah, <laughs> in the gut area um, and uh, to be used as later energy. So that's why you use, you choose wheat? A hundred percent of the time, I either choose, wheat. oh yeah, whole wheat or uh, multigrain. O sea, eh, si van a elegir comer pan, eh, Enrique, por favor, apunta esto. Siempre que sea 100%, eh, <laughs> <laughs> eh, ¿cómo, se dice, ¿cómo se diría en español? Whole wheat, Whole wheat eh, pan integral. Pan integral, ahí va. 100% eh, pan integral. Exacto. Porque él explicaba de que, bueno, explícalo, porque creo que era un poquito sí. difícil. Bueno, los, eh, el DNA del, del pan integral de los complex carbohydrates son bien diferentes comparado al que tiene, por ejemplo, el azúcar blanco, el pan blanco, porque el DNA es mucho, mucho, mucho más largo. Y por eso lo puede asimilar el cuerpo muchísimo más y lo puedo convertir inmediatamente en energía. Comparado con eh, el azúcar blanco, el pan blanco, los simple carbohydrates, que más bien lo que hace es, el cuerpo es retenerlo y no lo convierte inmediatamente en energía, a no ser que el cuerpo lo necesite y no tenga ninguna otra forma de coger energía. Claro. Eh, pero la mayoría de las veces lo guarda para usar para energía eh, después, en otro momento. Bien, eh, muchas personas dicen de que cuando quieres perder peso que es mejor comer poquito y en, eh, en varias ocasiones. ¿Eso es verdad oh, o no? Definitivamente. ¿Sí? Porque cuando uno come y no tiene que ser poquito y... Hay mucha gente que tratan de ser como bien, bien extremo. Yeah. Eh, por ejemplo, dicen, oh, no puedo comer esto, no puedo. Si tienen una condición, eh, yo entiendo completamente o las preferencias de la persona son completamente di diferentes. Pero lo importante es comer balanceado. Claro. Y, eh, o sea, comer de todo, pero balanceado. Exacto, exacto, exacto. Así que cuando uno come varias veces en el día, vamos a suponer cinco, seis, siete, eso es lo que nosotros recomendamos para la mayoría de los casos. Seis o siete veces al día. So sí. that's going to be, what about, you know, people say eat little and eat in small portions. He's saying that it doesn't necessarily have to be in small portions as long as you are balancing yourself with what you eat. And unless you have some kind of condition, you know, I'm, I'm translating what he said, unless you have some kind of condition, eat everything you want, just yeah. in a, you know, mannered way. And definitely track your macronutrients. That's very, very important. That word is going to haunt yes. me forever. <laughs> oh, so, you're, you're going to learn uh, really, really soon. I know, just by right? hanging around <laughs> me, just by speaking to each other. We so, all learn from each other. So Macronutrients again, uh, calories. So track your calories. Yeah. But nobody wants to do that. It's so boring. Like, you can't. Yeah. Uh, let's be honest. Like, I'm not going to sit on a table in a restaurant and say, well, how many calories does this have? How many calories does that have? So th yeah. there has to be, like, something that... I don't know, like a trick or something that you can... Do you count your calories when you eat? Oh, yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I oh, track I all of my that. macronutrients. <laughs> I actually keep a food journal. And oh, I wow. encourage... Yeah, I encourage everybody who's uh, on a nutrition program right now uh, to Google the nearest nutritionist or dietitian in their area or nutritional consultant, mm -hmm. which is what I am, but there's only about four or 5,000 of us uh, in the whole U.S. Only? Uh, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's a lot. laughs> well, compared to nutritionists and dietitians, um, we're actually a very, very small uh, percentage of uh, he health practitioners here in the U.S. Huh. Um, and the difference between all of them is uh, nutritional consultants actually focus more on the holistic aspect of health, and we go deeper into orthomolecular medicine, and you know. Right, so you're um, healthy. Yes, 100%. definitely, definitely. Listen, um, myself, I don't drink any milk. Uh, only will use it in French. Toast. Awesome. <laughs> Good. Cool. Uh, so, sé que muchos de ustedes están saludando, así que bienvenidos. Si tienen alguna pregunta, la pueden hacer. Um, does Does he use ketogenetic diets? I have used oh, that's that a good one. and lost a ton of weight, and then I stopped. Well, hopefully, you lost the weight that you wanted to. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So, definitely. Ketogenetic diets. What is that? Well, that's actually... Ketogenetic, sorry, diet. Yeah, that's actually a, a diet. Um, I think what they meant is, uh, is ketogenic. Oh, uh, ketogenic, okay. Yeah, 
ketogenics. Which? Yeah, I totally yes. read that wrong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I read it fast. <laughs> so what so, is ketogenic diets? Yeah, so what they do is um, you basically, instead of eating carbohydrates, okay. you actually cut out all carbohydrates uh, from your diet. Okay. So you only consume protein and fats. So let's say in the morning, instead of having uh, eggs with toast, right. you'll have uh, eggs with an avocado, you know, and you don't have any fruits whatsoever. Okay. Um, so no fruits? Yeah, I know. But it, yeah. I mean, no, it kind of makes sense. I mean, you're, yeah. you're not having sugar in the morning. Definitely. And it works uh, really well because a lot of people say, uh, and this is also really controversial as well, okay. uh, that fats are uh, converted into energy much more efficiently, saturated fats specifically, because trans fats are the fats that we should definitely stay away from at all costs. Okay. Uh, but saturated fats uh, are awesome because uh, they're converted into energy very quickly and they're not stored uh, for later use like trans fats are. It's similar to complex carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates. So the ketogenic diet is great because... Um, My mind is exploding right now. Yes. <laughs> but doesn't, uh, I mean, mostly everything has trans fat, though? Well, trans or if we're going towards organic foods, then that doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, definitely in organic foods, trans fats does not does exist. Does not exist. Yes. So maybe a good way, you know, kind of just to point it out there, a good way for you to lose weight is turning your diet just 100% organic. Um, definitely. You think? And, oh, yeah, definitely organic is <laughs> definitely, definitely the way to go. Um, I've noticed a, I've noticed a big difference when I started eating organic. Um, you know, it's just overall nice. you just feel better and the food tastes different also. Um, it does. And I feel like now the more people have actually gone on board with this whole organic uh, yeah. lifestyle. It's a movement. Exactly. That the stores are actually making it uh, accessible for everybody. Like even Walmart has its own um, aisle of organic food now. So there isn't yeah. an excuse anymore where you can say, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have income, so I can't eat organic. Like everybody can eat organic. It's just a matter exactly. of changing it up. Um, it's a lot more accessible now. Yeah, absolutely. Which is our goal. That's what we want to promote. We want to raise awareness about uh, holistic medicine and our organic alternatives because uh, our lives are full of artificial chemicals and things that are artificial, you know, right. um, artificial products, artificial people. Just <laughs> cut out it's everything true. that's artificial. <laughs> yes. Cut out and all the artificials from your life. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. But uh, so, a second, pardon, go. Oh, yeah, so definitely if you opt uh, for organic, even in everyday products that we use, for example, uh, deodorant. Deodorant has parabens. Mm. Oh, yeah, it has parabens, which are actually uh, proven to cause uh, cancer. So, yes, cancer, yeah, certain diseases like Alzheimer's. They've got aluminum. You know, even everyday things that we use, uh, shampoo, conditioner, soap. I have you know. a family member that's very into all those uh, things, especially when she got pregnant. And <laughs> she would tell me, you know, go organic with your deodorant. And then she gave me this yes. like trick where it's like, listen, another way of actually having a deodorant without buying one is get baking soda. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like baking soda and lemon or something. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's yeah, great. yeah, but it, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you yeah. go ahead and do whatever it is you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave me with my deodorant. Nice. I haven't been able to find um, at least, you know, deodorants that are having the same effect of, yeah. you know, a big brand of, you know, but I think it's just, like you said, it's a movement. So it's like little by yes. little, they'll start developing and, and manufacturing new things that oh, and discovering definitely. really new things because it's all so fresh and new. Yeah, bueno, it's new. O sea, que una de las formas más fáciles para ustedes perder peso es comer comida orgánica. Salirse de las, eh, las grasas saturadas, sería, ¿no? Grasas saturadas, trans fat. Tra Trans, las saturadas son las buenas, así que el aguacate... Ah, ¿Y ¿Cuáles sí. son las malas? Trans fats. No sé cómo Eso, se traduce en es español. Eh, <risa> sí, yo pensé que tra traduje eh, saturadas a trans. No, bueno, las trans fats. Sí, <risa> trans de fat, la traducción. <risa> que nada que sea orgánico tiene eso, por lo tanto eh, pueden comer 
todo lo que quieran, dice él, eh, siempre y cuando pues, miren atrás y si es orgánico, mejor. Hoy en día existe un movimiento muy grande con el tema de la comida orgánica, que si ustedes se ponen a pensar, eh, ya es accesible para todo el mundo. Por lo tanto, no hay excusa en decir, no, no puedo comer orgánico porque es muy caro y no me da el dinero. Eso era hace quizás tres, cuatro años atrás, porque es todo tan nuevo. Hoy tú vas a, aquí a, a tiendas de grandes nombres corporativos que ya tienen su propia isla de comida orgánica y no es para nada cara. Tú ves una mayonesa que no tiene ni huevo, ni, ni leche, ni o sea, nada sí. malo eh, y sale Green exactamente wise, lo mismo que la mayonesa Publix. mala. ¿Cómo se llama? Greenwise, de Publix, es uno muy bueno. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama la mayonesa que, que, la mayonesa que consumes tú? Que también es, es vegana y es, eh, sabe exactamente igual a la mayonesa. Bueno, después lo busco y se sí, lo comento. ¿verdad? Creo que es de aguacate, ¿verdad? De Something like that. Mayo. Yeah. No, nice. that's not the name. I, don't, I can't remember the name right now. Um, <laughs> it'll come I, to me. It'll come to me. <laughs> I actually wanted to add uh, one last thing about the deodorants uh, before we move on to the next topic. Yes. Tom's is an awesome one. Have you tried that one by any chance? No, I only tried one, uh, and then I, I, it's it was new, and I just left it there because it didn't do anything. Oh, and it yeah. was like it was like silicone. It was really <laughs> weird. I have no idea what it was made yeah. of. But dice que también recomienda usar eh, productos orgánicos en todo, hasta en los desodorantes que utilizamos. Definitivamente. Viste que te dije que nos íbamos a ir de tema para otro lado. Sí. <laughs> I, I love how we just migrate to sí. another subject. <laughs> um, Fluye tan natural. Es algo yeah. <laughs> un tema tan interesante que. And we only have four datos. minutes left. Okay, oh, so I think the best uh, tip is eat organic. Um, ¿Cuatro minutos o lo, esten, lo extendemos? ¿Lo extendemos para una hora? ¿Eh? Ok, 15 oh, mejor todavía. <laughs> Le damos un rato más a David, sí. que está, nos está dando muy buena información. Um, ok, so, let me, uh, let me see if you guys, uh, members, had any questions. My doctor prescribed um, a statin, Crestor, to control my blood cholesterol. Interested to get your guest opinion on the e efficiency of that drug? Do you know that drug, statin, Crestor? Well, I'm definitely familiar with uh, with statins, um, but I'm not too familiar with the whole pharmaceutical aspect of uh, medicine since we specialize in alternative medicine. Right. Um, it's good, uh, you know, to control the problem and to solve the problem. That's really the main. Uh, that's really the main uh, solution. That's what you know you need to go for. But uh, there are other alternatives. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably what, we, what uh, he wanted to hear because we all know yes. the reason why we're talking about this is to kind of like migrate away from um, pharmaceuticals, right? Exactly. And get into organic and, you know, things that can maybe give you the same results. So it's important to look into the side effects as well, which it states it on the back of the, on the bottle. Which we never do. Like, do we ever look at the side effects? So no. what, um, le let me rephrase that question just generically for everybody. Is there a specific maybe brand of, um, you know, something to control the blood cholesterol that is organic? Oh, yeah. That you would recommend? Definitely. And this, you don't even have to take it in, in uh, pill form. You could just make a simple uh, change in your diet. Uh, okay. Peanut butter is awesome. I, I oh, think yeah. you're going to like that one. <laughs> yes, definitely peanut, peanut butter. butter. And the reason is because it actually raises, even though if you look on the back, it's very high in cholesterol. It raises, right. like we were talking about before, your HDL, which many people actually say your HDL, which is the good cholesterol, actually determines the number of years that you're going to live. Huh. So if you have, yeah, so if you have bad cholesterol, if your bad cholesterol is really high and your good cholesterol is really high, that's, that's, uh, that's great. I mean, that's... Uh, How long do you think, like, because I don't want people going out and testing the peanut butter and then maybe have some kind of oh, reaction. Oh, definitely consult with your doctor before right. you do anything. And, 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 and like, how long would you, like, how long would you see results in this and how much peanut butter... Do you like? Would you recommend consuming, like it's a spoon yeah. a day, in the it morning when you wake up, or definitely everybody's different based on their weight, based on their goals. A lot right. of people are trying to uh, to lose weight, uh, and peanut butter, since it's uh, saturated fat, <coughs> um, it's actually very uh, nutrient dense because uh, e every uh, every uh, gram of saturated fat or just fats in general actually have nine calories compared to okay. every gram of protein or every gram of carbohydrate that have four calories. So definitely a spoon a day is good uh, like as a general uh, idea of how much to eat. Uh, but if you're tracking your macros and uh, if you'd like us to calculate your, your basal metabolic rate, 
that actually determines uh, how many calories you should be consuming on a daily basis if you're in a, in a sedentary position, how many calories your body needs uh, right. to be able to function in a sedentary position. <coughs> um, we can do that for them. It and makes sense, yeah, because it, yeah. I mean, it depends on what you do for a living. If you walk a lot, if you're sitting down, I mean, how exactly. much do you really consume? Is there a way to know that without actually like sitting down and having to go to a specialist? Like, is there a way for somebody to figure out how much calories they consume a day? Well, yeah, there Any are a idea? lot of online uh, calculators, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> okay, <so> yeah, <laughs> but I, I wouldn't really recommend them. Right. Because they all use different formulas, and you know you never know the accuracy. Uh, right. One website will tell you that you should eat uh, two thousand one hundred calories. Another website will tell you a uh, thousand nine hundred and fifty. So it's very, you know, it um it fluctuates a lot since there are so many different formulas. So, so um, generically, I think just like me, I think a lot of you would never be counting your calories, and it's just kind of like, well, how do I lose weight without yes. that whole process that is going to drive you crazy because go you want to just eat. So yes, go organic. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I'm telling you, I did a it. A lot and of it veggies. And a lot of vegetables. Um, what about like, they say the best thing that you can eat is protein and then uh, raw vegetables. Is that true? Or yes. does it make a difference if you eat raw vegetables or cooked vegetables? A hundred percent. Because Why? what happens with cooked vegetables, especially if they're boiled, for example, um, they lose a lot of the nutrition uh, that's in them uh, when they're raw. It's like uh, it's like when you pick, it's like we were talking about on the last show, a mango. Once you pick it uh, fresh out of the tree, right, and you just <laughs> bite into it, that's the best feeling in the world. And um, taste actually has to do, and freshness actually has to do a lot with the nutrition of the fruit or the vegetable. Because if you actually pick, I don't know if you've gone to uh, you pick here in uh, Kendall and pick the fresh strawberries. No. Uh, when it's in season. Oh, yeah. They you have, do that? Yeah. Oh, that's I do fun. It in, I want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you know. It's actually the season uh, right now. I love strawberries. So, yes. <laughs> strawberries are awesome. Very rich in vitamin C. They actually awesome. have four times the amount of vitamin C as oranges do. So, um, so eat raw vegetables. I guess that would be the conclusion, Defin right? Raw vegetables, definitely. O sea, um, proteínas. A lot of y greens. Y vegetales. Muchos vegetales. Definitivamente. Algún Mucha fibra. Mucha fibra, a lot of fiber. Um, would you like do like a percentage, like eat half and half or less protein, like less meat or less protein than vegetables? Bueno, depende de cada persona. Um, but definitely, if uh, you're just going to follow a standard uh, plan, I would go with 50% of your calories. I would definitely get them from protein. Okay. 25% uh, from carbohydrates and another 25% uh, from uh, fats. The okay. problem is a lot of people aren't consuming enough uh, protein. So that's, uh, that's a really big problem if they're getting the majority of their calories uh, from carbohydrates or fats because of the fact that uh, proteins, the building blocks of proteins and the building blocks of our whole bodies actually because we're 25% uh, protein fibers and 75% water. So the building blocks of our whole bodies are amino acids which we're going back to the topic of orthomolecular medicine, which a lot of doctors are actually treating um, certain diseases and certain conditions uh -huh. uh, with amino acids. So with substances that are already found in the body, they're actually treating and they're correcting uh, many symptoms. What kind of foods would you say that have the best amino acids for us to like get back on track with that? Oh, definitely like eggs. Top of your head. Eggs? Yes, definitely oh, eggs. eggs. Okay. Um, unfortunately, there aren't too many uh, vegan sources okay. of, uh, that are very, very complete in amino acids. Okay. Um, but definitely meat, uh, red meat. Okay. Even though uh, for people with digestive issues and um, gastritis and things like that, I would not recommend uh, red meat at all because it takes okay. so long to digest. So, if they have problems with gastritis or problems with digestion, no not eat carnes rojas. No lo recommend it because it will give them more problems. Something that is very rich in amino acids, which is what needs the body, are eggs. We go back to the eggs. O sea, de que vamos de una historia de que la, se escuchaba de que no era muy bueno en colesterol, pero muchos amino acids y resulta de que no te afecta para nada el colesterol. Fantástico. Oh, y el whey. Eh, que viene de la leche, el, la leche contiene varias proteínas, pero las dos eh, principales son casein, 
que el casing no lo recomiendo porque no es bueno para uno. A no ¿Recomendarías ser que uno quizás es un leche de vaca o leche de soya? Like milk, li eh, milk from, you know, cow milk yeah. or soy milk? What's healthier? Well, Well, soy milk, you have to look at the type of soy milk as well, because if it's organic soy right. milk, then that's great. Okay, But the or organic of, cow milk. Oh, yeah, organic cow milk is, uh, is actually great too. But uh, what happens with milk and a lot of the juices that we consume and a lot of the beverages that we consume, since they're pasteurized, uh, they actually heat the milk up and they heat the juices up. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they actually take out all of the nutrition, all the vitamins, all the enzymes that help uh, the baby cows grow and, right. you know, uh, that they're super, super important. And then they artificially add back in the calcium, the vitamin D3, uh, the magnesium and everything else. If you actually look at the nutrition That's facts of, you know, <laughs> of, of different uh, milk and different brands of milk and different brands of juices, the same juices and the same uh, milk actually have uh, different nutrition facts, hmm. which is weird because, yeah. you know, in, if they're both milk, they should have the same uh, chemical composition. They should have the same nutrition facts. Okay, somebody's asking, would, David says, would eating peanuts on a regular basis be as effective as eating peanut butter? Well, definitely, that's I would go question. with the peanut butter. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> question. That's a great question. I would go with the peanut butter only because uh, it's so much more concentrated Um, that that's like, for right, example, you would have to eat like a lot of peanuts. Yeah. A lot of peanuts you would have to eat. <laughs> and that'll and probably make, that'll probably make you gain weight because yeah. it's a lot of protein. No, uh, definitely. Definitely. And that's, uh, that's like what we were talking about before that, uh, fats actually contain, uh, per gram. They actually contain nine calories, which is the most out of, uh, any macronutrient. Okay. So that's why, um, people on, um, they're very calorie dense peanuts, uh, nuts in general, Uh, things like that, they're very calorie dense. So uh, for people trying to lose weight, we definitely try to eliminate uh, those foods from their diet as much as right. possible. Yeah. Eliminate nuts. Exactly. Huh. And here I am, you know, th believing that almonds, for example, well, al yeah, they're nuts. Um, in a small quantity. Weight. Oh, yeah, in a small quantity, they actually do. Okay. Because so add yeah. almonds to your diet, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit of almonds here and then. Exactly. So you would still keep the peanut butter. One yes, or because we spoon. we got mixed up here a little bit because we were talking about a uh, blood, uh, we were talking about blood cholesterol and that's how we talked yes. about the peanut butter and that but we started talking about weight loss so I'm not sure how mm -hmm. both of them will go together. Well, it's actually it's actually pretty strange because um, we since uh, peanut butter is a is an effective treatment uh, for people with high cholesterol. Uh, we recommend to take out oils and nuts uh, such as, um, you know, macadamia nuts and peanuts and uh, so just butter. just stay with the peanut butter. Yeah, just stay with the peanut butter. And definitely, I know this is really hard, but for the people there that are trying very, very hard to see results, definitely uh, look at the macronutrients, look at the nutrition facts, learn how to read uh, food labels because yeah. knowledge is power. So if we know what we're putting into our bodies, if we can calculate everything, And that's why our plans are so effective because everything is calculated and everything is measured. So right. that's like uh, in one of the courses that I took uh, to become certified, the professor actually said, if you're not measuring, you're guessing. So right. especially... I guess all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys have delivery too, right? And oh, yeah. You're Free starting delivery. in Miami? Free delivery? Awesome. Yeah, we're starting in Miami. This pretty soon is going to be a nationwide project. Awesome. Um, well, it's not really a project anymore because we started it's about a year ago. Yeah. yeah it's, it's already it's a, a fact. <laughs> exactly. It's a fact and it's happening. <laughs> um, whether the whether the pharmaceutical companies like it or not or yeah, whether, whether anybody. We yeah. love you, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, thank you. I mean, how does it work? Is the food frozen? Like you have the, the for each particular person that uh, you are given a nutrition diet plan, I guess. Yes. Is the food frozen and they have to, you know, then warm it up or... Oh, actually, the beauty of our plan is we actually have our team of chefs cook the food fresh every single morning compared to uh, most nutrition programs. And you deliver lunch and dinner? Oh, yeah, we or do lunch or lunch and dinner. Okay. And then the breakfast, we will advise them what to eat and, you right. know, we'll tell them certain foods. But uh, So it would be delivered, like, right on time, like, for your lunch schedule? Oh, yeah, right on or time. Or you would get exactly. the dinner and the lunch at the same time? Yeah, you get the, the dinner and the lunch at the same time. Okay, and then uh, you just heat it up. 
Yes, right. and you just heat it up. Interesting. Uh, definitely, if you could stay away from microwaves. Once okay. in a while, it's not too bad because we all need, you know, we're all in, in a rush and we all right. need to uh, be places. But definitely, if you could use a rice cooker uh, to heat up your food. What about the conventional oven? Is that okay? Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great, actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> o sea, no usen microondas. Él recomienda no usar microondas. Ellos tienen un plan también. Eh, eso está en Miami, a ver, pero están teniendo también delivery gratis para todo Miami. Empiezan en Miami y la idea después es avanzar a otros lugares de Estados Unidos. Y pues el plan a futuro de David es hacerlo mundialmente. Lo Exacto. Cual, pues, Internacional. Es, sí, es un trabajo tremendo, pero no imposible. Entonces, Exacto. ellos te hacen un, eh, si tú quieres bajar de peso, si tienes problemas de colesterol o problemas... Cualquier problema que tengas en tu dieta, en tu salud y estás tomando pastillas, digamos, para mejorarlo, lo que ellos hacen es darte eh, la una comida hecha, ¿cómo? una alternativa, claro, la sí. comida hecha por sus chefs que te llegan en el día, te llega el almuerzo y la cena. Entonces, eso te va a ayudar en absolutamente todo. Todo es la comida, o sea, uno, no. tantas personas, es verdad, o sea, obteniendo, consumiendo pastillas farmacéuticas, que no estamos diciendo que las paren de, de, de utilizar, ¿no? Claro, Pero sí es nada. bueno mantener una, alterna tener una alternativa y después ir al doctor y decir, a ver, estoy mejor y Exacto. qué mejor que estés mejor, ¿no? Y, y no tengas que consumir más nada. Exacto. Y los exámenes de sangre no mienten. Claro. Así que... Yeah, it says blood results don't lie, you know, so when you definitely start yeah. changing your diet up, um, Maybe you can even give up some of the pills that you were taking from the pharmacy. I mean, it's everything changes really. So, it's, but don't you know? Don't stop taking any pills, you guys. Just uh, try to yes. look for alternatives. Consult with your doctor. Right, and if you're in Miami, obviously, you know, get in touch with uh, David. He'll definitely help you out. Help you out. If yeah. you're allergic to peanut butter, what's the alternative? You're definitely screwed. omega no, three. <laughs> <laughs> omega three. Oh, you had something. Yes, I actually brought it for you guys. This is a gift uh, <laughs> for you and Enrique. So is, oh, this that, is this something that they can get like online also or just at your store? Oh, yeah, they could definitely get this online. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how pure it is or how many milligrams right. uh, other people are selling. But if they buy it from us, it's 365 certified. Um, and <laughs> this one, yeah, this one that I actually bought for you guys is uh, yeah, it's vegan called omega-3. Vegan yeah. omega-3. So that's what you want to look for, you guys, uh, something that's definitely. vegan. Um, or from awesome. fish oil for the people who are not allergic to uh, to fish, but definitely the best best omega three that I've seen. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can, you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So the best omega three that I've seen is uh, this one because it comes from algae such as uh, spirulina. It comes from chlorophyll. So this um, is good for to repeat uh, omega three is good for cholesterol. Okay. And cardiovascular health as well. Heart. Yes, heart. Yeah. Uh, you guys wanted to talk about heart. We'll leave that for the next show because we're running out of time. Um, but okay, so omega three really just—it's good for everything. Everybody, everybody should consume it no matter what, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Is That's there, actually. Is there something that we can uh, get omega three from instead of oh yeah, pills? A hundred percent. Algae, right? Yes, algae. <laughs> Not that tasty. But <laughs> um, if you actually eat, uh, for example, wild caught salmon, okay, or um. For example, wild caught uh, soul fish, okay. uh, different fish have uh, a very high level of omega-3. Omega 3. It depends what type of fish, but there's actually a really common misconception that all types of fish contain omega-3 and all types of salmon contain omega-3, where really uh, omega-3 uh, comes from the fish's diet, which... Right, what they eat. Exactly. Huh. So that's why wild caught has the omega-3 uh, compared to the farm raised, which does not have the omega-3 because many times, yes, they feed them sense. wheat and corn and things that you say, oh my goodness, like it's how like is a fish going to eat this? <laughs> yeah. They're food from uh, for land. For chickens. <laughs> yeah, for chickens. <laughs> Él dice de que una buena alternativa si son alérgicos a la, a el, um, maní, eh, no sé cómo le dicen ustedes el peanut. Peanut butter, eh, mantequilla de maní. Mantequilla de maní, ok, maní también. Para... <risa> eh, <risa> si son alérgicos y no lo pueden consumir, porque esto le estaba explicando que ayuda a su nivel de, de colesterol, pues entonces lo que pueden hacer es consumir omega 3, que también lo pueden esto Si no lo consumen de una pastilla que sea vegana, únicamente vegana, lo pueden consumir en eh, pescados eh, 
pero eh, salvajes, mar. o sea, del mar, no de, los que, no, no de los que vienen de granjas. Bueno, amigos, nos vemos en la próxima, nos quedamos con poco tiempo. Ya ahí ustedes me dijeron, por favor, invítalo de nuevo, David, que tenemos muchas preguntas <risa> más. No, uh, muchísimas gracias, David. Uh, no se olviden, da otra vez tu, a ver, 365 Wellness Solutions, you guys. Claro. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and um, yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, don't forget to email us. Nos vemos en la próxima. Un beso Definitely. grande y eh, gracias por estar con nosotros. Bye. Take care, guys. Thank you.